In this video I'm going to be doing an exterior maintenance wash on this MGHS which I ceramic coated using the Pyramid UBV New Era ceramic coating a few months ago and I'm also going to be giving the interior a tidy up as well. I'll be using the help of some chemicals that have been very kindly sent by a few different brands throughout this video and as always I'm going to be giving you my honest thoughts on them as we go throughout the process. I have been doing all the maintenance washes on this car myself Typically every one's two weeks, however I left it a little bit longer between the previous wash here. The first thing I did was pre-wash the wheels using Green Star APC at 10% and it did a great job at removing that brake dust and traffic film build up. I also used that Green Star APC in the arches as well to give those a scrub and I cleaned up the tyres using Autocon's Rebound which is a tried and tested product and worked on these tyres in a single hit. To clean up the alloys I used a couple of chemicals by Fresso and these products were kindly sent to me by ABP Autocare. I started off with the shampoo in the bucket as I wanted to help provide as much lubrication to the brushes and the mitt that I was using. The instructions recommend to use 35ml to 10 litres of water so it's not the most economical shampoo out there however it did provide plenty of suds and slickness which I was very happy with and I will be using this on a contact wash of the paintwork in a future video. I also combined the shampoo with the Fresso wheel cleaner which of course didn't have any troubles on these wheels as the pre-wash had pretty much got rid of everything so unfortunately it wasn't a great test for it but I will be using this product again in a future video on some dirtier wheels to give it more of a challenge. For those of you who aren't familiar with this brand they actually started with making air fresheners of which I have tried myself and they're really good quality, smell great and are very long lasting. They've since expanded their range into interior and exterior products and I am very pleased to say that they all smell fantastic as well. Once I had cleaned the exhaust tips and the wheels I then moved on to the door shuts and these do tend to acquire quite a lot of mud on this vehicle. I started by giving them a blast down and then used that 10% mixture of Green Star again to clean them using a mitt and also a brush to get into the rubber seals. Most of the mileage that this car had done since the previous wash was on the motorway so there were a lot of bugs stuck onto the front of the car and on the wing mirrors. So I sprayed Autocon's Bug Off which is a ready to use product and has a gel like consistency to give it a little bit better cling time. Once the bug remover had been allowed to sit on the car for a couple of minutes, I then snow foamed it using the Garage Therapy Snow Foam at 1 in 10 dilution with the dial tweaked back slightly on the MJJC foam cannon to give it a slightly wetter consistency and to improve that dwell time.
Following the pre-wash, I then moved on to contact wash by using Pyramid Car Care's Revival Shampoo. So this is a product that you can either use in the bucket or you can apply it using a foam cannon, which I'm doing today. And I used that at a one in 10 dilution, sprayed that onto the vehicle and then continued with my usual two bucket method. It's a pure shampoo, so it doesn't leave behind any gloss enhancers or waxes, which is ideal if you don't want to interfere with that existing protection. This method of foaming up the car with the shampoo is my preferred contact washing method as it does really help to improve the slickness and just try and make the contact wash as safe as possible. So I do go for this on my own car which has been corrected previously and of course on this car which has been corrected and ceramic coated. So here are a few shots of the performance of that Pyramid Car Care coating and as you can see it's doing really really nicely and it does definitely help to keep the car a bit cleaner between washes. I do think that the car would have looked a lot dirtier having done a thousand miles if it hadn't have had this protection on there. If you saw my previous video on this car you'll also remember that I used the carbon glass coating by Pyramid Car Care on all the windows. It was doing really well on the side windows but where the windscreen wipers had been it had worn it off completely which I was a little bit gutted about. However this was the version 1 of the coating. They've since released version 2 which claims to have better durability and wiper resistance so I will be applying this to this car probably at some point in the near future. Once I'd given the car a thorough rinse, I then dried it using the Blow Air RS car dryer, which works really well for intricate areas such as the grill, headlights, door mirrors and things like that. But also on a protected car, you can just dry the entire vehicle with it. And that's what I did here, as it is a contactless method. So again, just helps to make this process a little bit safer and reduce the risk of inflicting any damage. The disadvantage of this method is that it of course takes longer than using a towel. However, even on a vehicle this large, I managed to get the whole car dry within 15 minutes and it avoided any drips of water down the paintwork after the drying process, which a towel probably wouldn't be able to get to. On the day, I unfortunately didn't have enough time to polish and recoat the windscreen, so instead I used Soft 99's Glaco Hydrophobic Glass Cleaner which does add some protection to the glass as well as of course cleaning it. This isn't designed to be super durable so isn't going to last as long as sort of a sealant or coating that I would use otherwise. It was just a temporary fix on the day or it can be used to top up existing protection. It was super easy to use, flashed off within a reasonable amount of time but not too quickly and didn't leave any streaks or smears behind. I also wanted to apply some protection on the alloys as I have been just previously using a spray and rinse sealant. To do this I went for version 2 of Garage Therapy Sigma. So I have been really excited to try this product and I will of course be using this on the paintwork of another vehicle at some point. The application process was the same as the previous version so spread it using one microfiber cloth, wait around 60 seconds and then buff off with a second cloth. It was super easy and didn't leave any streaks behind and added a nice bit of gloss to these wheels. If you have been around for a while, you'll know that version one of Sigma is one of my favorite products and version two is designed to have better durability, water behavior and slickness. So I am really excited to test this on the paintwork. I dress the tyres using this product from Deterna, which is another chemical that is stocked and distributed by ABP Autocare, who I'll link in the description so you can check out more of their range as well. It went on really nicely using this foam applicator from Knockout 3D. And it left what I'd probably describe as somewhere between a satin and a gloss finish, 
which I think really suited this car as it helped to provide some contrast between the white paintwork and the tyres. Whilst I was here I thought it'd be a good idea to give the interior a quick tidy up and test out some more products. So I first started by just hoovering it up and making sure that all the loose dust and debris had been lifted. On interiors that aren't super dirty and are more just kind of dusty, I like to go in with my GB detailing brush just to get into the more intricate areas sort of around the controls and anywhere that a microfiber towel might not be able to effectively remove that dust before moving on to any of the chemicals. To give the interior more of a thorough clean, I used two chemicals, so I used the Fresso Interior Cleaner on the plastics and the Leather Repair Company LRC1. Both of these chemicals did a great job. Not too much of a challenge here, as they were just removing the odd few marks, but they handled everything with just a quick wipe with a microfiber towel, and flashed off very nicely to leave a completely matte finish, without any residue left behind at all which is exactly what I look for in interior cleaning products. I used a similar approach on the pedals by using that Fresso interior cleaner and just scrubbing it with a toothbrush, so nothing too technical here. I then just sprayed it with water and let it run onto the microfiber towel underneath to flush out all that chemical and the dirt that had been lifted as I find that using a microfiber towel isn't quite as effective to remove all that product. I also wanted to add a little bit of protection to the interior surfaces on this car so I used the Leather Repair Company LRC4 protection cream and the Fresso interior dressing. So the protection cream that I'm using here on the leather is really good for modern car interiors which of course have a clear coat on the leather so applying a conditioner doesn't really have much benefit particularly when the vehicle is brand new so this just helps to shield it from any grime build up and also adds some UV protection as well. The Fresso interior dressing as with all the other products in that range smelt fantastic so left a really nice sort of subtle scent which the owner was really pleased with. And it also left a completely natural factory finish where avoiding a greasy or sticky looking surface is definitely what I wanted to do. It also helps to add some UV protection to the plastics and has anti-static properties so you don't get dust build up quite as quickly. This car has rubber mats which definitely makes my life a little bit easier so I clean these using Autoglans Rebound which left them looking fresh so I gave that a scrub with a brush, rinsed it off and then actually dried it using the Blow Air RS again as this is probably my fastest way of drying it because a microfiber towel doesn't tend to soak up all the water on this kind of honeycomb design. The next thing I did was just use the Fresso glass cleaner to tidy up the odd streak that I noticed on the inside of the windows. This had the ideal flash time for me and didn't leave any streaks or smears left behind. So really just ticks all the boxes that I look for in a glass cleaner. <laughs> 